do you think that uh, employers are kind of wary of vets or what's going on there? I think in this economy, you certainly have a, a large applicant pool. And when there's so many applicants, the veteran is pushed down to a lower class. I think they also don't know how to treat us. They're kind of afraid of what the service has done to us. I used to walk with a cane. I just had a full ankle reconstruction surgery. And when you walk in with that kind of prop, all they see is doctor's appointments, that you're not going to be in the office that often. I served in the Navy for five and a half years as a hospital corpsman. I worked in intensive care unit, then Balboa Hospital in San Diego. Then for the next three and a half years, I switched over to the Marine Corps. In the States, that was more outpatient type care, and overseas, that was more emergency trauma. When I got out, I was just working your basic blue collar jobs, labor, things of that sort. But even those at the time weren't easy to come by. When I got out of the military, I decided I wanted to go into public relations and I look for a job in PR and that hasn't panned out so far. <laughs> it's just one of those things if, you, if you're not savvy enough to navigate the system, you have no idea what's out there for you. The main thing is we need licenses, uh, schooling, courses, certificates, a lot of different things in order just to do a job that I've already been doing for five years. Like I have the knowledge, I have the skill, now it just needs to transfer over into civilian terms and that's just a whole nother ball game. Veterans are, you know, they're the ones that make it happen. They're misunderstood, and I think just the outreach needs to come from the top. If people see their, their elected representatives speaking out for veterans, that'll definitely help.